Hallelujah. Father, thank you for your blessing, for your word. We love you. We thank you, Father, for the great blessing you are giving to us today. In Jesus' name we pray, Lord. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Right. Attempt great things for God. Attempt to build a great house. Second Timothy chapter 2. Attempt to build a great house of God. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Amen. Amen. Let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Verse 20. But in a great house, in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, some to honor and some to dishonor. Amen. Now, one of the things we have to attempt is to build a great house for God. Jesus said, I will build I must be about my father's business. All right? And we are here to build the house of God, the church of God. And not just a church, but a great church or a great house. So that is a very great achievement, to build a great house. Now, what does it mean? So if we build... A, a house is something, but if you build a great house or you attempt to build a great house, you have attempted a great thing. Yeah. What do you think? Do you think so? Yeah. Yes. If you have attempted to build a great house, you have attempted, are you listening? Yeah. To build, a, to do a great thing because he said we should attempt great things. So we are finding the great things that are there. And one of the great things is a great house. Okay, so we are building the house of God. Jesus said, I'll build my church. In my father's house, there are many mansions. We are building the house of the Lord. The house of God is the church. Amen. Amen. So we are here with the aim of building a great house. Great, great, great house. Now, what is the big characteristic of a great house? The great, the big characteristic of a great house is that in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, some to honor and some to dishonor. This is a big characteristic of a great house. And so if we are to follow the will of the Lord or the word of the Lord, ways of the Lord, we will build a great house with great variety. You see, the variety is what you have in a great house. In a great house, you have small rooms and big rooms. You have posh rooms and not so posh rooms. But in a small house, you may have only small rooms. In a small house, you may have only one big room. In a small house, you may have, you know, only vessels of wood. In a small house, you may have only vessels of silver. In a small house, you may have only dishonorable vessels. But in a large house, you have all types of things. Now, one of the things in our church, UD, is the beginning of some great things, which are the beginning of some variety of the vessels. When you talk about the vessels, you speak about the human being. 
who are being used by God. So, in a large house, we are to see a variety of people. Amen. Amen. A variety of human beings who are being used by God. Amen. Amen. Now, when you go to a church, usually it's either all from, they are all from one country. Or everybody is black. Or everybody is white. Or if you have pastors, all the pastors are white. All the pastors are black. All the pastors are young. All the pastors are old. All the pastors are gray-haired. All the pastors have pot bellies. All the pastors have different... I mean, it's always the same thing. When human beings do things, there's always the same. Now, one day my mother showed me a photograph of a famous architect, I think in Switzerland, and that this man had built buildings, and what he said was, nothing in creation is straight. No, no created work is straight. There's no straight tree. There's no straight ground. There's no straight leaf. There's no straight animal. There's no straight human being. But when we build, we have straight things. You, you've not noticed that. Uh, God's variety is easy to see. And then with the animals, I mean, if you are an animal lover, you'll find many, many variations of animals, birds, fish. It's amazing. We have fish that fly, birds that swim, animals that swim, snakes that fly, snakes that swim, snakes that go underground, snakes that live in groups, snakes that live alone. There's so much variety, some black, some red, some blue, some white, some, there's white snakes, there's black, there's red, there's multicolored, there's everything. Where God is really working, there's everything. Yeah, it's not, it's never one thing, you see. So, when you know that, that we are trying to build a great house, you will not try to limit us to one type of vessel. But you will have a variety of vessels. All right? Are you with me? So now, here in Australia and in the Pacific, whatever you are called here, Australasia, right, you must realize that there are different kinds of people. And we need to have the different kinds of people in the church. Amen. Amen. Now, you know, I believe that that is one of the reasons why I am the color that I am. Because many places I go, they tell me I don't come from there. Even in Ghana. They call me a white man in Ghana. A brony. Yeah. So it's like, you know, you are not really from here. So all these things have helped me more to see that, you know, we need a great house that has all the types of people. That's when it's really great. You know, people preach and they preach to only their type of person. You see, but God has blessed me so that I, I don't easily have my type. Rarely will I see a congregation made of my color. Only my color. The only place I saw that was in South Africa, in Durban, and maybe in Cape Town. And even, even that, they are, they, are, they are not half caste, but there is like a race of people who have a certain color. But it's not that they are half of this and half of that. So I think I'm seeing this in Fiji as well. I think maybe I come from Fiji. 
No, this, this makes Fiji very important for me. I have to go there. Papa New Guinea also. Do Papa New Guinea look like this as well? Huh? No? But you see, in a, in, in a genuinely large house, you have the variety. If it's a great house. If it's not great, it will only be one thing. Yeah. It will only be one thing. Yeah. So, I am excited to see people from different countries with me. I like it. It's something I want. It's something I pray for. Yes. I want to have a great house. I'm attempting to build a great house. And I want you to attempt to build a great house with me. Amen. Amen. And that great house will have bishops from different nations and colors. I, I want it. Because I'm not attempting to build a small house. It is written there. Attempt great things for God. I'm not attempting a small thing. Right? And in a great house, there are many vessels. I mean, a wooden plate is different from a golden plate. In fact, very different. But they are all plates and they are all in the same house. In the same kitchen. In the same cupboard. On the same shelf, they are helping me to preach. <laughs> you get it. Now, this is important. So, it is important for us to keep breaking barriers and moving higher and higher into greatness. And real greatness is seen in the variety. Yes. Greatness is seen in the variety. It's true. You know, in Ghana, there's a tribe which tend to keep to themselves. Even in church, you have only people from that tribe. In, you can have a church full of only that group. In Ghana. I'm sure in every country you have that. You have it in other countries where you where there are different types of people. You have that always. But when you are a visitor, you will not know. Because there's a proverb that says that a visitor has eyes but cannot see. Yeah. A visitor has eyes but cannot see. He doesn't know the differences that are there. He thinks everybody is the same. But when you grow past being a visitor, you start to see the differences. For instance, in England, you, you hear people speaking with a British accent. They say, hello, you know what I'm talking about, you know. I came today to tell you something, you know. And all. But after some time, you start to see the differences between the British accents. Within the British accent and the British group, there are different groups. No, apart from the locally acquired one, like the original ones, there's the locally acquired, and then there's original ones, but there's those from the south, and those from the north, and those from here, and those who are higher class, and those who are low class, and like that. Hmm? What do you say? One group says we was. Another group says we what? We were. We were, we was. Yeah. Do we want a great house or do we want not a great house? Because
because we are attempting great things, not small things. So I want to have a a Fijian bishop. Wow. I want to have a a Papua New Guinean bishop. Sierra Leone, isn't it? These are Sierra Leonean pastors, but not not Ghanaian pastors. So that is also another type of, it's like all metals, gold, silver, bronze, platinum, whatever, but they're all variety. Yeah. We need it. We need it. One of the strongest demons in the world is racism. It's one of the strongholds, one of the strong demonic works is racism. And you know what it does eventually? It keeps you and I from receiving. That's why I don't put my picture on my book. Because you, you see my picture, it's, oh, he's from this group, he's here. So then we don't receive. That's how we are. We're all like that, you know. We're all like that. He said, oh, this is, uh, you know, this is this, this is that. I experienced it all my life in Ghana. So white man, oh, go back to your country. And so on, yeah. So which country? I don't know which country to go to. (laughs) But so I'm happy to have people from different nations as pastors. And I really want... PNG pastors, Fijian pastors, Samoan pastors. Uh, what are the Isle of Vanuatu? Vanuatu, Vanuatu pastors. What do you call a, Vanu- a Vanuatian? Vanuatu. Yes. Ni, Ni Vanuatu. Liban. Nivan. A Nivan. A Nivan pastor. Huh? Nivanuatu. Nivanuatu pastor. Tonga who is where? Tonga is where? I want the Tongan. Are you from Tonga? Huh? Is he a Tongan? Sierra Leonean. Now, you see, Sierra Leonean, you are like silver and gold. And we, want, we want real Tongans. Not adopted Tongans. They look like me. I have to come there. This is Samoan. Are you a pastor? Not yet. You're just a helper. Stand up. This is a real Samoan. Stand up. A real Samoan. So, you know, at least I have Samoan members. But I want Samoan pastors. She's a good helper. Wow. Oh. Oh. In a large house. Now, my brother here, you look Chinese. Are you Chinese? Chinese? Come, I want Chinese pastors. And New Zealand. Chinese, come Chinese. I, wow. Wow. Please take a picture of us. Because in future. Wow. Don't you want to have Chinese pastors and evangelists? That's all that we want. 
that, that, you see, I want you to see what God sees as great. Yes. I want you to see what God sees as great. So I told this pastor who had, I, I mean, I was seeing this church. Hello, hello, who's that? Who is talking, man? What's that? Who is talking so much? I was telling this pastor who has only this type of people in the church that if you do that, your church will not be great because it will be restricted to only one little group of people. You don't have to do that. Amen? Amen. You don't have to do that. You, You have to fight for a great house. Yes. You have to fight for a great house. Great things is to have difference. So that, because in heaven it's going to be like that. That's the greatness of heaven. That Jesus has saved people from the ends of the world. Every group is represented in heaven. This heaven is not going to be just Jews. Israelis. And you can see Jews, you can see from the color of their hair. You can see from their hair, sometimes from their nose, and so on. You can see this man is a Jew. In fact, when I was in Israel, you know, I was being driven by a taxi driver and he in this taxi driver w- was pointing out to me that these ones are Palestinians, these are Jews, these are Palestinians. And I didn't know how to ask, how do you know the difference? We are driving by so how do you know these people are Palestinians? These ones are Arabs, these ones are Jews. And he showed me the secret. And I said, wow. And from then on, I'm, I'm able to check. This is, a, uh, this is an Israeli, this is an Arab. He just showed me the key and I, immediately I could see. You see, a visitor has eyes, but he cannot see. So we want a, a great house. So we want to continue until you guys become pastors. That, that, that is great. Greatness is not having $10,000. That's not greatness. Yeah, because if I have $10,000, I want to pay $10,000 to have a Chinese person who believes in God the way I believe in God and who loves Jesus and who preaches. I can pay twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000. I cannot buy such a person. You show me, how can, how can I buy a Samoan? I can't buy. How can I buy a Tongalese? Tongan. Tongan. How can I buy a Tongan? It, 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 you can't easily. How can I even buy a Sierra Leonean? It's nearer Ghana. But it takes something. I know people who have been in the ministry for years and years. They don't have no Sierra Leonean or any other country even next door to their original country as a leader or a shepherd or a pastor or anything at all. It's true. Give you $40,000 to buy a hat. You can't buy. That's why I say it's something great when somebody loves you and somebody chooses you from the person's heart. So for me to see all these wonderful Fijians, to have people from Fiji in the Bible, could that become like your children? When we are relating with Paul, Louisa, Kamal, and Mohini, for it's been years. It's not a new thing. They are like, I mean, it's, it's as though they come from the same place. Because it's, 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 it's like that. And the same thing goes for all. The, Jeff and Alan, they are, we were crying when they were going. They were leaving Ghana. It's a great house. Yes, it's a great house. Because we have all types of people. So forget about your country. I don't know where you are from. Your country is not, it's not even nice. Yes, forget about, forget about where you are coming from. And open your eyes and your heart. So that there will be, we can really build a great house. Huh? Can we do that? Yes. And you see, let us not 
be offended. One of the things about the great house is after a while, people get offended and blame the problem on the difference, not on anything else. My mother is from Switzerland, my father from Ghana, white and black. So my mother said to me one day, she said to somebody, she said, when you uh, have a marriage like that, apart from all the normal problems we have in marriage, you have one extra basket <laughs> of problems. Because you're always looking for a reason for why we are having a problem. And then it's easy to look at the face of the person and say, ah, it's from where you are from that this problem is here. <laughs> this is why we have this problem. It's because of where you come from. You see, but when you don't have a different place where you come from, you have nobody to blame. You know? <laughs> we are all from there anyway. So what happens in church also is that it's easy to get offended when something happens. Say, oh, it's these people from this these Tongalese, these Papua New Guineans, these Africans, these Sierra Leoneans, these Nigerians, these Ghanaians, these Americans, these British, these Australians, and you have these New Zealanders, and you have somebody to blame for something. If the worship is not nice, it's these New Zealanders who are if the praises is not nice, it's these Australians. If the preaching is not nice, it's these Nigerians. Hey. But it is important, are you listening? Yes. That we have in our hearts the big space to take in every vessel. Because in a great house, if you want a small house, then this message does not apply. Check with your neighbor. You want small house or big house? I want to know which message to preach to you. You want small house? You want big house? Big house, small house. Amen. Big house or small house? Sit down. Do you know that just the next country to where you are from, it's not easy to go just to the next country. <laughs> Let's take an example, Ghana. Next door to Ghana is Ivory Coast. We don't have any pastor. Oh no, we have Ivorian pastors. Uh, I can remember one. Yeah, Christian. Uh, it's, it's rare. You know, it's just next door. Togo is next door. I don't know any Togolese person. Yes. Is he is he is he Togolese? Yeah. Yeah, just next door. So you can have a church in Sierra Leone. You never see a Liberian pastor in your of your church. Just next door. It's as if there's some invisible glass wall. Greatness is seen by the presence of other types of vessels comfortably sitting in the kitchen and in the house. It's, so, it's one of the greatest signs of greatness. I always tell our church in Nigeria, you are 
going to be one of the largest churches in this country. And it is actually now beginning to happen. And I now have Nigerians, some of my top, top workers, I mean pastors, Nigerians. Yes. Always doing things, great things. And you see, it's, a, it's, 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 it's like power. Feel, I, I, you hardly see a Ghanaian pastor who has Nigerian ministers and pastors with him as a family. You see, our church is more like a family, so you can't easily just come for employment. <laughs> it, it takes, you have to blend in. Are you understanding what I am talking about? Yeah. You have to blend in and join the family, not take employment salaries. No, no, no. That's not how we work here. Now, color. You see, even in this camp meeting, there were more white people here at the beginning and fewer white faces I see. Either they are not here or they've gone. Or sleeping. <laughs> no, no. Yes. Now, I want to have white people. In the church. And it's not easy for a, a black person or a person of color to lead white people. Many white people will not be led. That's why for Obama to become the president, it was like, wow. Wow. And look at what he came to do too. Yeah, embarrass us. It's embarrass us. Yes. So, anybody here who is white, are you white? Are you considered as white? Yeah. No, sometimes somebody looks white, but it's not white. You tell you, no, I'm not white. I'm this. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we want more white. Every color. Not, not that white is anything, but we different colors. That's what shows that it is a great house. Yes. That's what shows that it's a great house. And, and, and not just sitting in the congregation, but as pastors and then as bishops, so that one day there'll be no, you see, one day the church will be so big that in Papua New Guinea or in Fiji, people would not know that this church, unless you ask questions, originally came from as far as Ghana. They say, wow, well, we are here with this, with this, with this. And so, wow. Yes. It's like the church of Jesus Christ originally came from Jerusalem. Go ye into all the world. You can't easily tell the connection between Papua New Guinea and Jerusalem today. That's greatness. And we have to measure greatness in the way God measures greatness, not in the way you think is great. Greatness is not, oh, I have 10,000, 10, I have 2,000. I mean, let me be serious. Because I give you 40,000, you can't buy me a Sierra Leonean heart. You can't buy me a Liberian heart. Yes, you can't buy me. Or South African heart or Zimbabwean heart. You can't. I'll give you money. I'll send you. Go bring. You, you see, I'll be waiting forever. I can give you one million dollars. You still can't find. Yeah. And that's something that rich people sometimes struggle with. Sometimes when a rich man is looking for a wife, you know, he, re he can really struggle. But he doesn't know whether you love me or you love my money. One day, somebody told his wife, just pretend that you love me at least for a few minutes. You know, just pretend for a few minutes every evening. Just like, just like act it out for a few minutes. So, I, I need you. And now you see, you are, we are sending you to Tahiti. You know, so, we, we want to see... Tahitian 
humans. Humans. That we can touch. You from Tahiti, you touch them. It's a real Tahitian person. In the next camp. Beautiful. So I want, come, where are the children? Who's come? Take this pulpit away. I want to show you something. Wait a minute. No, just, just push it back this way. This way. Now, I want to take a picture with Fijians, just Fijians. Come. Give me a chair. Give me a chair. I want you to show, show you a great house. Pure Fijians, please. If you are a missionary to Fiji, you are not included in this picture. I need pure Fijians. Is it beautiful? Who is the official photographer? This is a great house. I'm showing you pictures of a great house and of the future. All right. Thank you. Are you done? Beautiful. Baba, your time is up. I want real Chinese. These pictures are prophetic. They are pictures of the future of a great house. Wow. Sit down. Now, I want a real Samoan. Samoan. Any Samoan? Is there only one Samoan? This one, this one upstairs. Where is the other one? There's another one. There's another one. Are you Samoan? Okay. Half caste. So she's not a real Samoan. Half, half what? Half Australian. No, you, you have cast will take picture after you. you go. Okay, come, Samoan, come. A real Samoan. Wow, thank you. Now, Papa New Guineans, real Papa New Guineans. All right, all right, all right. Please, careful. Please, if you are not, I beg you, do not come. No missionaries should come, only real Papa New Guineans. All right, quickly smile. Everybody say PNG. PNG. All right, thank you. Nevans, Nevans. Vanuatu? No, wait, Nevans. Vanuatu. All right, real Nevans. These are real people you can touch from Nevans. All right, this is a great house. These are prophetic pictures of the great house God has given us. And we're Solomon Islands. 
What are these called? Solomonians. Solomon Islanders. All right. Now, smile and say Solomon. Solomon. All right. Thank you. Which other group is there? Sudan? Come on, one real Sudanese. Don't, don't, don't hold me. Don't hold me. Just, just. Sudanese. These are. Shh. Quiet. Everybody quiet. Everybody be quiet. Hello. Be quiet, please. These people are real Sudanese people. Smile. Don't clap. Smile. Wow. Go back. Thank you. Sudanese. Tuvalu. Tuvaluans. Tuvalu. Shh. Quiet. Where are you from? Tuvalu. Tuvalu. This is a real Tuvalu one you can touch. Stand, come nearer, come nearer. Take your hand out of your pocket. Smile and look straight. Say Tuvalu. Tuvalu. Wow. This is a great house. Sierra Leoneans. These are real. Don't touch me. Nobody should touch me at all, please. Do not, hello, step, move. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Please. Sierra Leoneans. Hello. Move, move from here. Move from here. Move. Move. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Go back to your seats. Wait, 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 wait. They didn't say come back. Come back. Please step back. All right. You may go back to your seats. No, I want people from these islands here. No, no, no. Shh. We are not just taking pictures with all. I'm, I'm demonstrating something to you. Sit down. Sit down. Everybody sit down. Sit down. It's not just a national photograph session. <laughs> Photo session. That's not what we are doing. I want white people. If you are white. Come. White. I want white people. Wow. Where are you people from Australia? Yes. Are you all Australians? Yes. Beautiful. Wow, a beautiful picture. Come, Mama, come this way. Stand by my side here. Bless you. Oops, sorry. Stand right here. Okay, sorry. Now, are you seeing the picture of greatness? And can you believe one day we have a white bishop yeah. preaching to white people? All right, thank you very much. Aborigines, is there any Aboriginal people here? Aboriginal people? 
Cotomans. What's that? Another island. Kotuman. Kotuma. Rot. Where are the Rotumans? I need Rotumans. Come. These people are from Rotuma. But did you, did you mention it yesterday? Did I mention it? Come, come and stand here, please. Thank you. One on my left, one on my right. Stand here. And one behind me. These come nearer. These are real Rotumans you can touch. Wow. Thank you. Now, half castes, half cast, like people like me, half and half. You have half and half, half of something and half of something. Ah, are you not Fijians? Are you a half of what? Half of Chinese. Half Tongan. Half Tongan. These are shh, shh. Hello. Hey. 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 Close the door. Close the door at the back there. Look, I'm talking about a great house. I'm not talking about a, a nation of a church of all black, all Ghana, all Nigeria, all Togo, all Sudan, all white, all Australian. Shh, quiet. Listen, I'm preaching. I'm showing you that it is possible. It is possible. And if we are humble, God will use us. Smile at the cameras, all half casts. We, this is my group that I belong to. This is my group. All right, thank you. Now, if your country wasn't called, don't, no, no, it's not a photo shoot, please. It says, I'm preaching, I'm preaching. No, I'm preaching, I'm showing you, please, quiet, listen. Listen, I'm telling you that God can use us to attempt, it's a try trying you know there was a young man he he was a hundred meters runner and he was a swiss man and he was in our church you know i tried i was so happy he was always running and i tried to turn him and make him into a leader then he left i've tried different sometimes i keep people with me from different countries stay with me stay with me stay with me because I know greatness is in having vessels of gold, silver, wood, earth. The gold, silver is not in value. It's in variety. You can't use, listen, shh. You can't use, um, what do you call it? Sometimes you can't use some of the metals to eat. Because when you take a spoon, the metal also comes into your mouth. It wipes off. So sometimes you have to use that. A lot of the plates we use are earthenware. The plates, that's why they break. So you see that sometimes this is rather what is good. But this one, if you put, I once put some wine, communion wine into a, 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 a whatever, a, a, it would look golden vessel. Because after you see that the metal has dissolved into the wine. So I stop using it because see that the metal is dangerous. So I stopped using it. So you, you may be gold, but you are not useful for this. Or you may be silver, but you are not useful for You may be wood, you are not useful for this. There are some things we use wood for. So whatever you see, hello? God uses different types of people for different things. You know, and we are here, we have the islands, we have people, we have different colors. And we must be open. That's why when we come to church, don't speak any other language. We are, it's not allowed to speak any... Don't speak your language. 
where you come from. You see, nobody knows what you are saying. You know, nobody knows what you are saying. You know, one day some guy just came, someone, and then, give me your bag. He just put the, he just held the bag, and he just took the bag. And he ran away. The guy ran at fast. Because he didn't know what he was saying. Do you understand what I'm saying? He just put the bag there. The guy ran as far because he didn't know what it meant. So you, you, you have to be careful when we are in church. Don't speak another language. Otherwise, it puts off others. So, oh, I'm not part of these people. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not one of them. So, foreign languages are banned in the church. You can speak your language when you go home. Yeah, we speak, it's an English-speaking church. Is it clear? Don't even speak to your wife or your husband in the church. Don't tell your wife and say, What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? <laughs> is it easy to understand yes. we don't want that in England you know many years ago I was on the underground train and I saw a sign it says it is rude to speak loudly in a foreign language on this train oh. Oh. I saw that 30 years ago you see, it's rude to speak loudly in a foreign language nobody knows what you are saying you speak to someone Hey, are you saying something? What does it mean? Huh. Yeah. So, apart from the danger of it, it makes people move away and say, "Wow, these are the Sudanese." You know, we are not Sudan. We are from a Sudanese church, but we are from Sierra Leone. This is not a Sierra Leonean church. This is not a Ghanaian church. Yes. The pastor may start as a Ghanaian, but we want to have pastor from all. I want to see my newest Fijian pastors, Vanuatu pastors, Nivan pastors. I want to see Tongan pastors, Samoan pastors, especially Samoa. I don't know why I'm interested in Samoa. I want to see Chinese pastors. Wow. Do you want, I want to see white pastors. To me, it will be one of the greatest achievements. So I've got a white pastor. Because you see, it's not, the barriers are so big. Yes. Even though I'm half white, it, it's still a it's barrier. It's a barrier. There are real barriers. All right? Can we do great things or we're going to do small things? Where you are from is not even nice. Tell your neighbor, do you know where you are from? It's not even nice. I don't know why you are bringing it out so much. Huh? I don't know where you are from. It's not even a, so great a place. There are so many problems there. And you want the whole world to feel your presence from your country. Ah! Let us relax, please and just flow in the church we are building a great house we are attempting great things for god and we are building a great house and in a great house there are many vessels different types different types different types different groups yes. and we are going to see it now even even a white church cannot easily have black people yes 
Yes. You know, I was ordained by a white pastor. And one day he called me. Where's my pulpit? One day he called me and he said, I want to have somebody like you to be with me and work with me. Yes. Yeah. I mean, he, he was very, because he wanted to build a great church. He wanted to build something great. So he called me. He said, you know, I want you, a white man, a British man. And I would have been happy to do that, but I was in school and I told him I had to go back to school. But he told me there are different types of people in the church and I want somebody like you also to be there. So that's the same thing I'm doing to you now. I'm saying, look, there are different types of people. You know, all types. Where you are from is not even so nice. True or not true. All right? So, let us flow. That's why there are certain examples I don't even give. And when I give those examples, I try to explain what it means so that you don't get lost. Because this is not a Ghanaian church. All right? It's international. International. Glory to God. So from today, if you hear somebody speaking any language you don't understand, you tap her and say, hey, great house, great house. Stop, stop what you are doing. Great house. Don't forget, it's a great house. Great house, huh? Great house policy. Great house policy. Great house, great house, great house. Great house. Great house. Beautiful. How many want to go to Fiji for a camp meeting? I mean, it sounds like a good idea to me. How many want to go to PNG for a camp meeting? It sounds like a good idea to me. Fantastic. Sit down, everybody. We are building a great house. Father, we thank you for helping us to attempt great things. Lord, we, this is our attempt. We pray for the spirit of a great house. Give us every color, every tribe, every island, every type of person, every group, every mixture of human being, every person, because you died for all these people, all of us. No matter how we are like, we are human beings and we need you, Lord. We need you, Jesus. People need the Lord. Bless us with a great house. From today, let this church turn into a great house. We ask from today, let this spirit of greatness envelop us, descend upon us, cover us, and characterize this church. Let no one be able to say, I come from here and I come from there. But rather let it be said, I am in a great house. The house of the Lord. Thanks for this great blessing you have poured upon all of us. From today, let black, white, color mean nothing to us. But let it not be a barrier. But rather, let it be a door of opportunity. A door, a window into greatness. Thanks for bringing. We ask you to send them from every island, every color, every shade, every shade of color of a human being. Let them be so much in our midst. Give us bishops from Fiji, bishops from PNG, bishops from Vanuatu, bishops from different islands, different colors, white and black, and do it, Lord. Thanks for doing a great thing. We love you, Jesus. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. What a blessing. Now, 
Yeah, you can. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take an offering and then we're going to come right back. I believe many of us couldn't wake up this morning. True or not true? True. <laughs> ah. But God is blessing us. How many are being blessed at the camp? Now, what, I, what we are going to do is that we're going to take a short, shorter break and then we'll come back. All right? So those who couldn't have breakfast will do that. So take out your offering and then let's do that. So if you have to go, you go. People need the Lord. I, want, I feel like singing that song. People need the Lord. People need the Lord. Whatever color, whatever group, whatever type. People need the Lord. If you are a people. If you are a people, you need the Lord. Amen. Lift it up and let's pray. Father, thanks a million. Oh, I didn't see the, the offering. All of you on this side, nobody is taking an offering. Mercy. Father, thank you for the blessing as we give today in Jesus' name. Amen. How many are enjoying Ida's music? Are you glad she came all the way to sing? Do you want her to come again? Huh? For the Fiji camp? For the PNG camp? Those of you in Australia, will you come to Fiji for the camp? I just receive the offering, please. Every day they pass me by, I can see in their eyes empty people. They go through private pain, living fear to fear. Laughter hides their silent cry. Only Jesus cares. People.
Thank you for your great blessing. In Jesus' name we pray, Lord. Amen. All right. Let us welcome um, Bishop uh, Pastor Ora to end the service. Hallelujah. Oh, keep clapping. 